Greetings, everyone. Today we're going to explore solving one and two step inequalities. Make sure you have your notes with you and a calculator if it's handy. Alrighty, in our notes, we have a spot to review our solving steps. And don't forget, we did this all last unit. It's all the same idea. Meaning the first of our five steps is going to be eliminating parentheses by distribution. Next, we're going to combine like terms, meaning if I have three things on one side of the equation or inequality, can I put them together? Step three, we're going to add or subtract a variable term. Remember, I always call this the move step. We're going to move a variable. Step four, we're going to undo any addition or subtraction, just a regular old number. And step five, we're going to undo any multiplication or division. Don't forget that our little silly trick to remember these steps is don't call me after midnight. The first letter reminds me that I'm going to distribute. I'm going to combine. I'm going to move a variable. I'm going to add or subtract and I'm going to multiply or divide. Just a trick. If it doesn't work for you, don't worry about it. So now let's talk about the special rule. Out of this entire video, this is the one thing that's brand new that you probably haven't done before, but something that you do have to memorize. When solving inequalities, when you multiply or divide by a negative, you need to flip the sign. When you multiply or divide by a negative, you need to flip the inequality. If you would like to get into more of the why does that happen, I can certainly provide some extra examples individually. But for right now, I just need you to work on memorizing this rule. So let's jump into solving so we can see all these rules in action. So if I take a look at the variable, the variable says subtract 15. So this is a review of one step. We're going to add 15. The X falls down, the symbol falls down, and we have 27. Just like solving an equation, right? There was no difference. Here's where the difference arrives is when we graph this solution set on a number line, we are going to have an open circle on 27. This was from our previous video. And we want to be greater than 27. All the values that are greater than 27. Let's try this one. Draw a line down the inequality. My variable says plus 12. So we are going to minus 12. Letter falls down, symbol falls down if I subtract. Now this is written weird. Okay. In our first few videos, we talked about um, you know, my very not mathematical term of flip-flopping. We want to flip-flop this inequality. We want the letter first, then the number. And when we flip-flop that, we also include the sign because if I'm pointing to the Y, I need to stay pointing to the Y. Now I'm ready to graph. At negative 13, we're going to have a solid dot. And look at how this is helpful. If I read it, all the y values that are less than negative 13, less than means left. And that only works because the letter is first. All right, example three. Here's where we gotta slow down. If I read this, this would be negative three times w. The opposite of multiplying is dividing. We're going to divide both sides by negative 3. Now I need to stop. Don't write anything else. We just divided, can you make these lines obnoxious, by a negative. Here's how our special rule works. If you divide by a negative, you need to flip the sign. See how I did that? There's our special rule highlighted in yellow. Now our calculations 
are still executed the same way that we always have. My letter's written first, so that's really good. Let's create our number line. And at negative one, we're gonna have a closed dot and we're gonna go left. Values that are less than negative one. Let's jump to two steps. We wanna undo any addition or subtraction. It says subtract five, so we're gonna add five. Next step, it says divide two, so we're gonna times two. What we do to one side, we do to the other. Now remember, if you're struggling with these solving steps, make sure you see my equation videos. It's much easier when it's just equations to get those, those rules down. All right, we've got the variable isolated. Negative two is our number. We are going to be open at negative two because it's only less than and the variable's less than, so we go left, right? You can use that L sound. Less than means left. Let's try this one. Draw a line down the inequality. Now I kind of put in all the common mistakes into this two-step problem. First of all, a lot of you see a minus and you wanna add seven. No, 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 no. This seven is a positive seven. So we are going to subtract seven, okay? If that's difficult for you to see, maybe think about flipping the problem around. See, you could, you could write it like this if that's easier for you to understand, okay? Otherwise, you have to look at what signs in front of the number. It's a positive seven, so we're gonna minus seven. What happens is the negative belongs to the two, okay? Now, instead of times negative two, we're going to divide both sides by negative two. But let's stop. We just divided by a negative. If I draw all these lines, special rule, we need to flip the inequality. Now I know you probably don't have a highlighter with you, so just make these lines over and over again. Muscle memory, if you make it obnoxious, you're gonna remember it better. All right. The x falls down, the opposite goes away, and four divided by negative two is negative two. Let's create our number line. We're gonna be open at negative two. The letter says be less than negative two. So we're gonna go left again. Let's take a look at this one. Another common mistake here. Most students do really well with subtracting the six. They drop stuff down, all is well, and then they stop. Is that variable by itself? It is not. Technically, this says negative one times k. This says negative one times k. So instead of times negative one, we need to divide by negative one. Oh, let's stop, 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 stop. We just divided by a negative. If you multiply or divide by a negative, you need to flip your sign. So it's not difficult to do, it's just something you have to remember. Sometimes that's tough. So whatever we need to do, whether it be a flashcard, whether it be practice, whether it be making the lines bold or starring, we need to do something to make sure to remember to flip our inequality symbol. All right, at negative 36, we wanna go less than, so we're gonna go left. All right, look at how this problem's written. Uh, in the past, students have asked, you know, where which value gets the negative. To make it a little easier, what I would do is I would put the negative with the two. It doesn't go to both, it just goes to one. So I'm gonna rewrite this problem. I would put it with the number because what we did is we just made this a one step problem. So let's solve. Instead of divide by negative two, we're gonna times by negative two. Oh, let's stop. 
we just multiplied by a negative, we just multiplied by a negative. If we do that, we need to flip the inequality. Now let's solve. The x falls down 4 times negative 2. That gets us our values on the number line. We're going to have a solid dot at negative 8 because it's or equals 2. And it's less than negative 8. Yup, another less than. All right. The key thing here, right? The only new thing we learned is when we flip the symbol. That's the new special rule that we got to keep working on. The solving steps, not so new. So if you need help, make sure to see my other videos. As always, make sure to check out Google Classroom to see what the task is for this video. And let me know if you have any questions. And until next time, have a good one.